Hello YouTube. As promised in my last video, I have a different cannon that uses the technique I was talking about in my last video. Um, this cannon, it's another one of those impractical designs. There's no point in using it at all except sending TNT as far as you possibly can. Like, it shoots so far, I don't even know how far it shoots. Probably somewhere in the range of a thousand meters, a kilometer. Um, yeah. But so this thing uses 72 TNT in just about this much space, like just down here. And there's the projectile TNT. So, test fire. And that's gone, and we're never getting it back. Ever. So, I can't show you the range. I can kind of explain how this thing works, right? This button. It um, powers this redstone. And this one. This one just powers this dispenser. And there's a dispenser in there that's also powered. And then this is just your standard um, uh, projectile thing up here. But it also goes into this repeater. And over here. This just ignites, or not ignites, but dispenses all the TNT. But first it goes and extends these pistons so none of it falls over this and blows up the cannon. That's why this wall's back here. And s same over here with redstone power going up through there. Now this, it just serves to make the fences, or iron bars down there, retract for long enough so that all the TNT can fall. And I'll show you, let's see, if you can see the fence, or iron bars out again. And I can try and show you the trajectory that the TNT has coming out of this cannon, which involves me around right here. Yeah, that's like 40, 30, 40 degrees. And that thing is going out really fast. And now I can show you um, how fast the thing is going. But it requires me to construct a wall in front of the cannon. So I'll do that and then I will be back. So I went and I built a little wall thing to try and catch the TNT. And you'll see what I mean by the speed this thing comes out with. Yeah, it just like teleports. And I have no idea why it ends up going to the side like that. I mean, I kind of want to try something and see if that has any help. It does not. But what I'm thinking is since the TNT does come out straight is that it's just when it hits the uh, wall, since the um, what am I saying? It's not going perfectly straight, but it's going pretty straight. And when it hits the wall, it keeps its velocity except for the forward part, so it's still going up, and it's still going 
slightly left. But, so like, when I take out this ceiling, I mean, you'll see what I'm talking about. You won't be able to actually see the TNT. It'll hit the wall and it'll just keep going up. That, by the way, I think is a graphical glitch. But yeah, see, there was no TNT. It's up there somewhere. It's probably out that way, too. But when I add the wall back in, if I were to do, um, see if I do this, it will fly out the side. Oh, never mind. That went to the right. That is the first one I've had that did that. So, I think it has to do with, actually, the slight randomness this way. Uh, where did that go? Okay. Let's check how much we have left. Yeah, I've kind of been using this. It's fun. It is the definition of overkill. But, I mean, it's fun, anyway. So... But I guess that's pretty much it. I'm just going to fire one more time because it's fun. But thanks for watching.